Hi everyone, I am Abhisar Oja and welcome to the Simply Learn YouTube channel. And in this tutorial, we will learn to create a Discord bot and add it to our Discord channel. And here, we will learn how to get the following responses from the bot. The responses would be text, image, video, document or audio. If you are aiming to get certified in Python programming and want to build a Python software development career, in that case, you can check this Python certification course by Simply Learn, which will open the doors for the best career opportunities. And to find the details of this Python certification course, you can check the link in the description box below. It could be the ideal solution to help you build your career in the right direction. And before starting, let us have a simple question to brush up on our knowledge. And it's related to Discord. And your question is, what is the minimum age to use Discord? And your options are, the first option is 18, the second option is 13, and the third option is 15, and the fourth option you get as none of these. So please answer in the comment section below, pause the video, give it a thought, and answer in the comment section. First we'll see the demo of our Discord board, and then we'll start to create our project. And for that, we'll move to our Visual Studio code. So this is our Visual Studio code, and this is the code for our the simple Discord board. We will also create the music discord bot, but first we will create the simple discord bot to just get the responses from the bot as text, image, files or video. So we will save this and run this. So it shows that we have logged in as simply learn bot. So we will move to discord and I have created the simply learn server and in that I have the simply learn board. We will go step by step and I will show you how to create a server. And you can see the simply learn board, it's active, it's showing the green sign or the green dot. And here we'll see what were the commands. If we just write hi. So we are in the general channel and if we write hi we get the response from the simply learn bot as hello and if we write image we will get the image that is rewind.png and this image is stored in the same folder as of the project and if we write video we will get the python.mp4 this file is also stored in the same folder and the audio will get this song and this file is also stored in the same folder and if we write file, we'll get the same file that is python.pdf and that is stored in the same folder. So I'll show you some commands. Uh, I will write image and the board responds me with the rewind.png that is stored in the folder. I will show you guys. So this is the rewind.png what I got when I wrote image so moving on now we'll start with our board and i will show you the demo of music board before creating that now the first thing we'll do is create a new folder for our project and we'll create a folder and name it as is code board using python and in this folder we'll open the command prompt and we'll open our idle that is visual studio code you can use any idle that you have hands on we will be using the visual studio code <coughs> and here we will create a file and name it as main.py and before starting the first thing we should do is install and import the libraries and before starting let us have a simple discussion about what is a discord so discord is a voice and text communication platform for gamers 
players, streamers and developers use Discord to discuss games, answer questions, chat while they play and much more. It even has a game store complete with critical reviews and a subscription service. It is nearly a one-stop shop for game communities. I'll show you. I have downloaded the desktop version of Discord. So this is a Discord. And while there are many things you can build using Discord APIs, this tutorial will focus on a particular learning outcome. How to make a Discord bot in Python. And if I tell you what is a bot, so automated programs that look and act like users and automatically respond to events and commands on Discord are called bot users. So this was the brief about the Discord and what is a bot. Now we'll start with how to create a Discord bot. So first you should have an account on Discord. For that you could simply go to the Discord website and register for that. And you can, if you're on desktop, you can download the desktop app or you can access the Discord within the browser. Now you should have an account on Discord and you should create a server in that. To create a server, you can see this plus sign. Just click on that. That is add a server. And now you can see for whom you want to create the server. I want to create a server for my friends. And that would be for me and my friends. And he's asking for the server's name. So we will write project server. And we'll click on the create button. So we have created a server and it has channels that is general games, music, and voice channels that is lounge and stream room. Now we have created a server. Now we'll move to Discord development website for that we will write discord developer portal and this is the website that is http colon slash slash discord dot com developers talks intro so in this website we will create a new application so first we have to go to the applications and i've created three applications and here we will create a new application and name it as project <coughs> we will tick all the permissions and click on the create and now you could see the general information about the discord board so if you want to upload any icon you can do that for your board and we have named it as project and we can tag it as board and chat bot <coughs> and moving on now we'll go to the bot okay so first we will save the changes and now We'll go to the board and click on add board and now we have to confirm by clicking yes do it now after the board is added now we'll copy the board token and before that we'll just give the board permissions and before giving the board permissions we'll go to the authorization tool and here we'll select in-app authorization and we'll select the scope as bot and give the permissions add admin administrator permissions and here we'll save the change And in the URL generator, we will select the scope as board and the board permissions will set it as administrator and we'll copy this URL and paste it here just to store that and we'll open that in the browser. <coughs> 
we have to open this in the browser and here we'll see the server we have created the project server we will select that and we'll click on continue and it has the administrator will authorize it and it's asking if we are a human or not so we'll just fill its capture <coughs> and you can see that are both is authorized so we'll see in the discord that project just showed up that is the project board so it has showed up but it's offline so now we have to make it online we'll do it by writing a code and before that we have to generate the token of our board so in the authorization tool we have done the things and here we have generated the link and authorized our board now here we'll give the permissions that is requires authorization to code grant parents intent server member intent okay we will give all the permissions as we would be creating the music board also so for that we would be requiring the administrator permissions and that is all these permissions send messages create private threads attach files so all that so here we'll save the changes <clears throat> and to get the token of our discord board we'll click on the reset token and click on the yes to it so we'll copy this token and paste it here so it's our token and this was the url to authorize a discord board so we would be using this token in a code to activate our board and to get it online and if you get your token mishandled or you have given to someone you can just reset it so after this project i will reset this token so you guys can't use my token so moving on now we will install some libraries that would be discord library and to install that i will show you the simple commands that is present in the browser you just have to write install discord python library okay and this is the official website you just have to copy the command move to a command prompt or the terminal of your id and just paste this command and press enter <coughs> you can see that the requirement is already satisfied as i have already installed the discord library so here i don't have to install it again and you can do it just by writing the command in the command prompt or in the terminal and here we are using pip to install the command now moving on after installing the libraries and authorizing our discord board now we'll write code to get our board online and get some responses from him so first we'll import the discord library and for that we'll write the command import discord so here we have imported the discord and now first we'll get our port online and for that first we'll set the intents that is discord dot intents dot all and after that we will create a variable client and in that we will call discord dot client 
and inside we'll write command prefix so if you want to give any command so if it has the prefix that will enter so a board would understand that that would be exclamation mark and we'll set the intents that is intents equal to intents we have created a variable and set the intents <clears throat> now we will create a event that would be client dot event you could visit the discord official website and see the documentation of how to install it that is if you want to use the pip command you can use that in linux and you could see the voice port by nacl we will install it for our music board and you can see this is the quick example to see how we can use the discord library so we have set the intents and now we're gonna make a bot active so you could just visit the documentation read it once and you would understand how this library is functioning and what classes and functions it possess so we'll move back to our ideally and here we'll create the event for that we'll write at the rate client that the variable we have created dot event and inside it we'll use async and create a function that is on underscore ready <coughs> and here we will print that we have logged in as if a board has logged in it should get printed we have logged in as the name of the user or a port okay and we'll write dot format and inside will pass client <coughs> now we'll create another event that is at the rate client dot event and inside we will create another function that is own underscore message so if we give any message to our board he will reply to us so message and if message dot author so he is writing the message is equal to client dot user then we'll just return and if <coughs> message dot content dot starts with that is if the message starts with hi or we can write hello so a bot should respond with something so if our message starts with hi so we will await and message dot channel dot send will send hello and now to make a board active the last thing we have to do is we have to run a token run a board with the help of token so you know we have copied the token and that we have copied here so i'll copy this and paste it in client.run hmm. 
so we'll save this and run it so you could see that it has shared logging in using static token and it has shared the session id that the bot has been logged in and what we have printed is that we have logged in as project hashtag 7634 so here we will move to a discord and here you can see that a bot has been online after we have run the code that is we can see the green symbol for that and we have written the commands if we write hi to a bot or the message which starts with hi it would respond to us so you could directly chat with the bot here that is just click on its symbol and you can message at the red project at the red project that is your bot so we'll just write hi here and you could see that a bot responds with hello and if we go back to our project server so this is a project server and if we write hi in any channel that is we are writing in general channel and press enter so here also our bot will respond that is hello <coughs> so now we'll add other functionalities so that a bot could respond to us in different ways so now we will ask our bot to send an image so the image could be sent through the port in the form of file we need to give the name to it and the file should be in the same directory where our code is it could be done by running the code that i will just show you so here now we'll start with if message dot content dot starts with image that is if we have image oh sorry that would be here only that is own message we are writing in the function that is own message and if the message dot content starts with image if the message has image in it so what we will do is <coughs> we will write a command that is await message dot channel in which channel we have quote the command as image from the author we will write the or send the file that is the bot will send the file in the same channel that is message dot channel dot send and here we will write the file name and for that first we will see which files so i have some files that i have used formerly so that i have stored in yeah new folder <clears throat> so yeah so these are the files that will ask a bot to return us back that is the image rewind.png python pdf and the python mp4 file and the mp3 file beautiful mistakes so we will copy all these and paste in our directory in the same directory that we are coding that we are writing a code now We'll move back to our visual studio code and here we'll write the file name that is file equal to discord dot file you know, discord dot file and now the name of the file that was rewind.png so 
so we will save this and first run it to check if this command is working or not so first we will kill our terminal save it and run it and you can see that it has given the session id and we have logged in as project bot we will move to our discord and here we will write image in that channel <coughs> and you can see that a bot responded with the rewind.png image so our command is working fine now after running this code that is the type image in the channel now the bot will respond with the image that we have given in the file and we have seen that now we will get the video audio and a pdf file through the bot now to get these first we must share the file name in the file section for the file that we need to share through the bot in order to acquire the video audio or the file now we need to keep that file in the same directory where our code is there as we have seen that we have kept that in the same folder <clears throat> now we will write the commands for video audio and the pdf file now first we will write the command for video and that is if message dot content dot start with that is video wait message dot channel dot send <coughs> here we'll write the file name that is file equal to discord dot file and inside we'll pass python dot mp4 and that would be in the inverted commas <coughs> sorry for coughing oh i have a little cough now we have set for the video now we'll set for the audio file and for that we'll write the command that is the same command and we won't waste any time we'll just copy it <coughs> We should code as fast as we can and if the message contains the audio so what will pass we'll just see what we have the name of the audio file that is beautiful underscore mistakes <coughs> and that is mp3 beautiful underscore uh, the capital i think just check it and that is yeah ms capital so now we have written for the audio file now we will write for the simple file that is our pdf so if our command that is the command we will give to our board if it contains the name file then it will give us python dot pdf okay <clears throat> and we will check the name okay the p is capital for python and after that we have client dot run that's it so we'll save this and first we'll kill our terminal and click on the run button So you can see that we have logged in as project and now we'll move back to our board. So our board is active and we'll start with the hi command. So it says hello and if we write hi board then also it says hello. That is if our message contains hi then 
the bot would respond with hello and if we ask him the image he'll respond us with the image and if we ask him with the video it takes time like as the video is a bit larger in size <coughs> okay so it doesn't have any attribute video that is python note mp4 we got an error here start with video i will just go dot file python note mp4 <coughs> just check yeah this is the same file the error should not have been occurred okay <coughs> We have asked for the video. Yeah. Okay, there it is. We have written start with. It starts with. That's why I just wanted for image but not for video. Audio and the file. <coughs> Now we'll save this and first we'll kill the terminal and run the code again. You can see the session ID and it has logged in. Now we'll move back to our project and now we'll ask the board for video. Now we'll see what it responds. Yeah, you can see that it has responded with the video. You can also play it here. and if we ask for image it gives us the remind image and if we ask for the audio <coughs> it has shared the audio that is beautiful underscore mistakes and we ask for the file file please Oh, I think we got any error <coughs> that is going to start with file and we have python root pdf and the error is payload too large okay the request entity is too large <coughs> so we have not subscribed with the nitro version so we can just send the 8 mb files we'll just check what is the size okay it's of 9 mb so it won't share so you can place any file that is less than 8 mb your bot would respond for that and with that we are done with our bot and we are ready we are with our bot first we'll see the demo of our tutorial that is the discord music bot what we are gonna create so this is our source code so we'll just run it and first we'll get a terminal and i will run it for you guys <clears throat> so it has been successfully executed now we'll move to discord and this code is basically for the simple and server i am in the simple and server and now we will visit a voice channel and what we have in this code is that is to play the song we will use play underscore song and to get the board joined we will use join and in starting we'll use exclamation marks for the commands that is command prefix so we'll move here you can see that the simply learn bot is live here we'll just write a command to make it join this channel you can see here that the simply learn bot has joined the channel now we'll ask him to play any song so we'll get something from youtube so we will move to youtube 
and just copy this link and move back to our discord and here we will write the command play underscore song that is what we have set it and we'll paste the link here and press enter so we have given the command to our simplion board and you can see that the simplion board is typing first it will download the music then it will play for us so we have to wait some seconds till it does all its work it's taking time okay we got an error here command is an exception now unable to recognize the tab page okay so we will give another link to our bot so for that we'll go to youtube and okay we'll give this link to our bot now the simulant okay it has played i hope you are able to hear that sound hey everyone welcome to simplion's youtube channel in this session no we will learn get it stopped okay now we have seen the demonstration of our project now we will move to create our own music bot so for that first we will create a folder mm, not in this we will create in python projects and name it as discord music port and inside this port we will open the command prompt Yeah, and now we are open our ID. That is, we will use the Visual Studio Code. <clears throat> you can use any ID that you have hands on. I usually use the Visual Studio Code. And here we will create a file and name it as main.py. And now the first thing we have to do is set up the application of our Discord board and <clears throat> import the libraries. But before that, Let's have a small discussion about the Discord. That Discord is a voice and text communication platform for gamers. And players, streamers and developers use Discord to discuss games, answer questions, chat while they play and much more. It even has a game store complete with critical reviews and a subscription service. It is nearly a one-stop solution for gaming communities. Now, we'll move to create a Discord board and for that you should have an account on discord by visiting the website you can create an account or <clears throat> you can have an app in your mobile phone so moving on we will move to discord and create a new server for our project uh, for me and my friends <clears throat> and i will name the server as music Bot. Okay. Now I will click on create. Now I have created the server, and these are the channels: general channel and the voice channel. That also has the name general channel. Now we'll go to the Discord development website. So for that, <clears throat> we'll visit the browser and search for discord developer portal and here <clears throat> first we have to move to the applications and first you have to sign in here after signing in then you have to move to the applications you can use any previous applications you have made or just click on the new application and give it a name to application and we will name it as what we have named to the server 
that was music bot so we'll name the application as music bot we'll tick the terms and conditions and click on create now you could see the name that is music bot now if you want to give tags you can give the tag that is chat or chat bot and it's asking to save the changes we'll save the changes and now we'll move to the bot <clears throat> now to create a bot here we'll click on the add bot and then click on yes to it too many users have this username please try another okay so we'll just name the bot as music port <coughs> pro simply okay and we'll save the changes now we'll move to the board and click on add board and then yes to it now you could see that the username that is music board pro simply and now moving on <coughs> Now we have added the bot. Now we'll just go downwards and click on port permissions add administrator. So our bot would have all the permissions. Now we'll visit the authorization tool and select in app authorization. And for the scopes, we'll select bot. And for bot permissions, we'll select the administrator and it's asked to save the changes we have saved the changes now we'll move to the url generator and here in scopes we'll click on the bot and for the bot permissions we'll click on the administrator and this is the link which you have to copy and open in your browser i've copy pasted and you have to store this link so for that i will open a <coughs> doc file and in that i will store it so our server name is music board that we have created in the discord a simple discord not on the discord developer portal that we have created on the discord now we'll continue and you can see that it is asking that we have given it the administrator permissions yes authorize it so it's asking for a captcha if i'm a human or not you can see that there was a notification that the board is authorized and it has been popped into the channel into the server so we will just create a new doc file and paste our link here okay <clears throat> don't worry i will change these links reset them so you guys can't misuse them okay so i will just change them okay and now we'll get the token for a board but before getting the token we will give the permissions that is requires authorization to grant presence intent server member intent and message content intent. okay now we'll reset the token and this is my token i will copy it and i will paste it here and i'm going to change it i'm going to reset it after the project is completed so don't worry if anyone is thinking to use my token okay so here we have set the discord application and the discord developer portal now <coughs> we'll move to install some libraries so we'll move back to our main.py and search our command prompt and here is our command prompt okay uh, python projects yeah this one okay so here we'll install some packages 
first we'll start with pi nacl so you can just visit the browser and type pi nacl pi pip you can see the official website you have to just copy the command go to a command prompt paste it and press enter and the module would be installed for you as you can see that it states that the requirement is already satisfied as I've already installed these modules so one by one I will show you which modules we have to install now this is async here so we'll just go back to our command prompt paste the command press enter and I think it's I have already installed it but yeah it has installed again no issues <clears throat> now the next module we have to install is the discord module so we just have to copy the command paste it in the command prompt or the terminal of your id it states that the requirement is already satisfied we'll move to discord ext bot external bot and we'll paste the command here and press enter then we'll move to python dot environment and you can see its requirement is already satisfied and now we'll paste this command its <coughs> requirement is already satisfied as i've already installed all the packages if you face any issue in installing these packages just comment down in the comment section and our experts will be helping you with all your queries okay and dot environment it's been, the requirement is already satisfied <clears throat> now the last one okay we have not installed youtube so i will also install the youtube one it says the states that the requirement is already satisfied okay now the os one so we'll just copy the command here <coughs> I have already installed it. I don't know why it's installing again. Okay, uh, okay, I got it. Why it's installing again? So we will let it being downloaded and install it. Till then, we will import all the packages. Okay, so we'll start with import Sensio. We'll import discord and we will import from discord.ext <coughs> we'll import commands and external class okay uh, so commands and we will import tasks okay <clears throat> now we'll import os and from dot environment we'll import load underscore dot environment okay <clears throat> now we'll import youtube underscore dl okay 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 uh this we don't need also yeah all the other caches have been installed okay no issues <clears throat> we don't need this also so we also need to install fmpeg i will tell you for what we will need that I will mention all these commands in the comment section and we have to set the environment variables for this fmpeg we will also come to that <coughs> or first we should come to that only no we'll start with the code and after that we'll install the fmpeg okay i have already installed on my system i will show you how you guys can install it okay 
<clears throat> so moving on we have imported all the libraries and the module that is youtube underscore dl it's an open source download manager for video and audio content from youtube and other video hosting websites so what we'll do in this project is first we'll download the video what we are sending to a port it will download it and then it will play okay now we need to set intents for a bot. Intents allow a bot to subscribe to specific buckets of events, allowing developers to choose which events the bot listens to and to which it doesn't. For example, sometimes we want the bot to listen to only messages and nothing else. So we'll set the intents for that. Okay. <clears throat> so moving on. To set the intents, we'll create a variable intents and inside from the discord library or the discord module we'll use discord dot intents dot all and we'll create another variable that is client equal to discord dot client and inside we'll set intents equal to intents okay <clears throat> now we'll set commands uh, we'll set it for bot only that what prefix we should set for a bot so that a bot could understand those commands okay so commands dot bot and inside we'll set the command prefix so for that we'll write command prefix you can see here that Visual Studio Code already suggests us the functions or the commands. Okay, so it has suggested command prefix, and inside the inverted commas, we'll set exclamation mark. Okay, and we'll set intents equal to intents. <coughs> okay. Oh, it shouldn't. Yeah, okay. Oh, sorry. We have to turn this into a variable and we don't have to close the bracket there. I don't know why I closed that. And now, here we will paste our discord token and load the environment variable okay so for that we'll write the command load underscore dot env and now <clears throat> here we will store our discord token that is equal to os dot get env and inside we will paste our discord token we'll just paste it no i'll copy the command so we have to visit our browser and i'll document this was my token i will copy it and move back and paste it here okay and i have to show you guys that our bot is here but it's offline we will make it online and then we'll ask him the commands okay so moving on now we'll write the code to download the video for that we'll use the youtube underscore dl module okay <coughs> so our next step is dealing with the part that actually downloads the audio file from the video link we provide please note that this board is just a demonstration it's not illegal to download from YouTube or personal use according to any laws or something. But it might be against the YouTube terms of service. So please be sensible and use this for personal use only. Okay. Like it might be against the YouTube terms and conditions that is terms of service. So to download it, we will start with the commands that is YouTube underscore dl tutorials dot 
bug underscore reports underscore message and we'll use the lambda function here okay so we'll use the lambda function here and after the colon we'll just have the inverted commas now we will declare the format options that this module contains so for that we'll write the command ytdl underscore format underscore options and that is equal to inside the curly braces we will define all the format options so we'll start with format colon and inside the inverted commas only we will write best audio slash best and the restricted file names that is restrict file names okay you could just copy the commands or like we have another video where we have like told so we'll just get these commands copied now once or like we don't have to understand anything in this so why to waste the time we'll code as fast as we can so we'll just copy these commands and now we'll write the fmpeg options so we have installed the fmpeg library and how to download the extraction module and how to set the environment variables will come on that but before that we'll set the fmpeg options so for that we'll create a variable fmpeg underscore options and that is inside the curly braces we'll set options minus vn okay now <clears throat> we will create a variable that is ytdl and inside we'll use the youtube underscore dl module and its function that is youtube dl youtube dl and inside we'll pass ytdl format options that we have set above okay <clears throat> inside we'll pass these so for that we'll just write ytdl format options okay now we'll create a class okay we just got the bracket here We'll just get it there and now we'll create a class and inside we'll set the URL variable that will take the URL which we will pass to the board and that URL video will be downloaded and then that will be played by the board as an audio okay so for that we'll start with a class and name it as yt dl source and inside we will pass discord dot that is from the discord and we can use the version info no we don't know. we have to use the pscm volume transformer and it's not showing here so we'll just write down that is pcm volume transformer okay <clears throat> and after that we will find the init function that is underscore underscore init <laughs> and inside we'll pass self and 
source strict data and we'll set the volume equal to 0 0.5 okay now we've set the volume now super dot in it and inside we'll pass the source and volume source and volume so we have passed it here now we'll declare other things that is data title and the url <clears throat> so for that we'll just write self dot data that is equal to data and then we'll clear self dot title that is equal to data dot get title <clears throat> now for the url we'll set self dot url and that will set just the inverted commas so that it could take the url what will give to the bot okay now we'll create a method that would be the class method okay for that we'll use at the rate class method and inside okay or oh, oh, nothing just ignore that so we'll use async and we will create a function and name it as from url so we'll create a function from url and inside we'll pass cls url asterisk and loop <coughs> so that it doesn't play it again and again so we'll set the loop equal to none okay and we'll set stream equal to false so it shouldn't stream it from the internet first it should download and then it should be played by the following commands we'll set it okay <clears throat> so we we'll set the stream equal to false now we'll set loop that is equal to loop or we'll use the module async and we'll get event loop function <coughs> okay and now we'll set the data equal to await await loop dot run loop dot run underscore in executor we'll use this function that is run in executor and inside we'll pass none and we will have a lambda function here and inside this lambda function we will use ytdl that is a youtube and use the extract info function to extract the information from the url we have provided and inside we'll pass the url <coughs> and we'll write download equal to not stream that is we don't have to stream it okay so we have set the data now we will run a if statement that is if entries in data 
that is we'll take the first item from a playlist if you have given the link or url for a playlist we'll take the first item from that playlist okay for that we'll write data equal to inside data entries and <clears throat> the first entry okay we'll take that and now here we'll set the file name the file that we will download that would be data and inside title okay <coughs> now if so we'll set if here only that is if stream else varidl dot prepare underscore file name and inside we will pass data okay <clears throat> here we have passed the data and here we will return the file name okay <clears throat> now uh, we have created the from url method that is the method of ytdl source class that takes in the url as a parameter and returns the file name of the audio file which gets downloaded now we'll add board commands so now let's add the join function so we'll write the join command that would start with the exclamation mark that we have set the commands prefix so to join the board in a particular channel that is the voice channel we'll write the command and we'll declare a method for that to tell the board to join the voice channel and we'll declare a leave method to tell the board to disconnect then we will declare other methods that would be for play pause resume and stop so starting with we will start with the join method okay for that we will start <clears throat> okay so for the join method we'll start with at the rate board dot command we'll use the board variable that we have declared earlier and inside we will name this method as join okay and if you want you can just write a help also that is it will tell the board to join the voice channel okay but we will go on and use the function that is async def and we'll create a function join and inside this we'll pass ctx and <clears throat> here we'll use if command that is if not ctx dots uh, will message the author voice that would be a voice would pop out when the when a board will join the channel okay so not ctx dot now if like here if it doesn't join then you will get the message okay dot message and dot author dot voice <clears throat> Now we'll use await and inside we'll write the message that we'll get if it doesn't join the channel. That is await ctx dot 
send and inside curly braces and we'll get the message that it is not connected to a voice channel okay it will take the name of the board <clears throat> that is the author dot name that i'll just show you okay is not connected to a voice channel okay got it now we'll use format and inside pass ctx dot message dot author dot name what name it should appear in the curly braces okay <coughs> <coughs> now we'll let it on okay now we will declare our else statement that would be if it joins the channel then channel equal to what message it should display or it should just connect to the channel okay we won't display any message here we just want it to join the channel so for that you write ctx dot message dot author dot voice dot channel <clears throat> okay now we'll use await so it could connect to the channel and we'll write the command for that channel dot connect okay so we have written the function to get a bot join into a channel now we'll write a command to play the song so for that we'll write at the rate bot dot command and inside we will name it and we will name it as play song play underscore song and if you want to write help to get like what this command does so you could just pass a help here and inside that you could just store a line that describes what this command does okay and here <clears throat> we'll create a function and name it as play and inside pass x comma url now we will create a variable and name it as server and inside We'll pass ctx dot message dot guild and now we'll create a variable that is voice underscore channel and that is equal to server dot voice underscore client and now Now, right? Sorry. Async with <coughs> CTX dot typing. That is when we'll call this function, so our board will show us typing. That what we have named our board. That is music board. So it's typing music board simply something we have named it and what it would type it that would be create a variable file name and inside 
All right. Wait. YTTL source and from URL function will take the URL pass the URL into it and loop equal to board dot loop okay now we will set a like we will take the voice channel and use the function play and inside we'll use discord dot fm peg audio okay <coughs> fm peg a uh, pcm audio and that function starts with your yeah, fm peg PCM audio okay and inside we'll pass executable and here we will set the path we will set the FM peg we will download it and set the environment variable and we will extract these files of FM peg so here we will write the path to that so we will write this path after we will complete the code we will see how to download it and how to extract the fmpeg okay so here we will write the executable and now we will also pass source that is equal to file name okay so the good file name now now we'll use await await and inside ctx dot send and inside we will write in bold letters so for that we will use the asterisk two times that would be now playing <coughs> colon and asterisk and here we will the curly braces and use the format and inside will pass file name okay now here first we check if the user who wants to play music has already joined the voice channel or not if not we'll tell the user to join first okay now we'll create command for pause so for that we'll write add the rate port dot command and inside we'll set name equal to pose <clears throat> okay name equal to pose and if you want to set help you could also set the help but we don't need we know what we are going to do with this function so we'll write async def and we'll write the function name that will name as pose and inside we'll pass ctx side pass voice underscore client <coughs> and that is equal to ctx dot send message no uh, we won't uh, send message it will ctx dot message dot guild and will use the voice client okay 
ओके नाउ इफ वॉइस क्लाइंट इज प्लेइंग देन वी विल पोज इट इफ वी यूज दिस कमांड पोज दैट वुड बी एक्सक्लेमेशन पोज सो वी आर गेटिंग अ इफ स्टेटमेंट इन साइड इफ वॉइस क्लाइंट डोट इज प्लेइंग then we'll use await that is voice underscore client and we'll pause it okay and now else we'll use the await that is ctx dot send so if it's already posted we will um, send some message that would be the bot is the bot has posted the music or it's not playing anything okay hmm so we'll pass this and this is for the pause now we will declare a function for resume so for that we'll write at the rate bot dot command and inside we will pass name and we'll pass the name that would be equal to resume and if we want to set help you could set the help else there's no need so here we will set the function and name it as resume and inside we'll pass ctx okay now we'll use the voice client and here write the message dot guild dot voice underscore client <coughs> so we have set the voice client here okay now if voice client is posed then we will resume it okay so for that we'll write the command if voice underscore client dot is underscore post then we'll use the await function that is await voice underscore client dot will resume it okay we will resume it else if it's already playing then we'll just pass the message in the await that is ctx dot send and inside we'll pass the message that <coughs> we can pass if we have used the in the zoom method and it doesn't play any song then we'll pass the messages that the bot is not playing any song that's why our resume command won't work okay now we will write a command for leave that is we have asked our bot to join a channel that is the voice channel and if we want him to leave it so for that we'll write the command at the rate bot dot command and inside we'll set the name 
as leave okay okay now if you want to set help you can set it else you just write the function async def and name the function as leave and inside will pass ctx <clears throat> and after that we'll set the voice client voice underscore client and that is equal to ctx dot uh, here we'll again set the message dot guild dot voice client okay okay <clears throat> now we'll use the if statement that is if the voice client is connected then we'll disconnect it that is we'll ask him to leave the channel so for that we'll write the command if voice <clears throat> underscore client is connected then we'll use await that is voice underscore client and we'll disconnect it so we'll use dot disconnect okay or else if the board is not connected to a voice channel we'll just get the message <clears throat> so for that we'll just write voice dot client uh, not will not write voice dot client we'll use the await function to get the message that would be await ctx dot send and we'll get the message as uh, that the Bot is bot has not joined a version. <clears throat> okay. Now uh, we are left with the resume pose. Play. Okay, we have not written the stop. <laughs> command for the stop command or the stop function so we'll write for that so for that we'll just create at the rate board dot command and inside we'll set the name as stop okay and in the next we'll create a function that is async def and name it as stop and inside we'll pass ctx okay now we'll clear the voice client so voice client equal to ctx dot message dot guild dot voice underscore client okay <clears throat> now if voice client is playing that is if voice underscore client is playing then we can just write the command to stop it so for that we'll use the await and we'll write voice underscore client dot stop okay now else Now, 
if it's the board is not playing anything at that moment we will just pass the message there that is await ctx dot send and inside we'll pass the message that is the port is not playing any thing <clears throat> okay now we will just get our code running or we'll just move to the last part of our code that is to deploy the bot locally we'll activate the virtual environment and run the this file so for that we'll just write the last command that will be the main functions that is underscore underscore name <coughs> we could add more commands also first we'll run this and after that we'll see if we need something else or we are done with it and here right board dot run and our discord token so we'll just place the discord token here and that we have in our browser i will just so we will just is it here copy our token go back and paste it here something happened no it's okay now we have to paste the path for fmpeg so So we will just visit the browser and I will provide you the link to download the FMPEG. Just click on Windows and then Windows built by BTBN. No, not this. We'll go to download the source code. I don't know but yeah gyan dot dev and here we will download the fmpack git full dot 7 z so this is what we need we will just cancel it okay so we will get to the downloads it's being downloaded so it got downloaded so we'll just extract the files and we'll extract in the same folder so that is in the C and in C we have Python projects and in Python projects we have discord music port okay so we'll get all the files extracted there okay uh, no c simply uh, not simply learn bro we have to go to python projects and we have to go music port then we have fmpeg and in bin we have these all three so we'll just copy this path and paste it in our execute table okay now we will clear the terminal we are done with the project and now we have to set the environment variable for fmpeg so we'll just search that is 
environment edit the system environment variables and just click enter and this will appear so you just have to click the environment variables and click on edit and it uh, you have to click on new wait and just see the path and click on edit and and click on path and then edit and here we will the new variable and where we have stored all this we'll just copy the path and paste it here and click ok okay okay and now we'll move back to our code now we'll save the file and run the file so it's showing that the shared id is connected to gateway so we'll move to yeah you can see that the music board pro simply it's been online Now we'll run and execute the file. So we can see that it states that it has connected to the gateway. Now we'll move to this code, and that was it has hopped into the server. Now we can see that it is online, and now we have joined the voice channel, and now we want a bot. To join the voice channel for that we'll write the command join and you can see that our bot has also joined the voice channel now we want to play any audio file <clears throat> now move to youtube and in the simply on videos only choose one that is a small one so because first it will download it and then it will play it so it will take time to get it download so we'll move to discord and write the command play underscore song space the link of the video and press enter <clears throat> now you can see downwards that music board pro simply is typing and then it's executing the commands and is downloading the file and will play you can see that it has started playing now we'll stop it now we want to resume it no we won't be able to resume as we have stopped it if we have paused it then we can resume it so here our discord music port is ready and it's good to go so you can just say it how we have created it and i will provide you the source code files and the fmpeg url from where you can download it and set it as environment variable so i hope the session was interesting and informative if you liked it please let us know in the comment section below and do subscribe for more from simply learn thanks hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here